If you're watching this on YouTube, this is the start of part four. Let's continue. I think we were about to do some more uh, pickpocketing, weren't we? Totally remember how that works now. Yeah, I did like a quick one hour save, didn't I, to... Um To get a save in there. I haven't actually added the unlimited save mod. I actually kind of quite like the quirkiness of having to go to a bed and sleep. It was like in Alien Isolation, where uh, you had to go to a save station and like put a key card in to actually make the game save. Otherwise, you would have to redo the whole previous bit. I quite like that because it just built tension. Uh, maybe you don't need that kind of tension in this sort of game. I know the devs have said they're looking into it, but uh, I'll leave it for now. Rock can always nip in and grab a bed. What was this? While I was unconscious, my debt to the pocket three increased. Oh, I should pay him. Crap. Um, I finally have the dead man's ring. I should want to take it to Millet. So should I go and maybe I should go and pay the the <laughs> pocket three? Oh, I didn't realize it was going to increase. That's not so good, is it? Rip. Just wait till uh, an hour of over an hour of work goes away because your game crashed and didn't save. That's true. That's true. Oh, where is it? No. Where is your father, the Miller? There he is. Will I be covering Desert Kingdom DLC when it comes out? I'm probably only going to do an overview video. As to be honest, I'm not you, that interested in just a faction pack for Rome Two. My respects to you. A campaign pack? Yeah, sure. Like. Empire Divided has genuinely interested me in Rome 2 again, but um yeah can you tell me tell me no, that's all that's all. where's the apocryphy? what should I raining? no um okay, well how can I where's the what are the apocryphies on the map then? Thief. Pay him. I find the Peshek wants me to take it to the Miller. Doing is a test for the Millers. It just leads to more side quests. Uh, jobs. The guy doesn't care about the ring. Right. No spoilers. Shh. Uh, I gathered that though. Um, we're kind of like the Thieves Guild here. But where is the Apothecary? I probably should go and pay that off. Yes. Is he up in the? Off in the castle. I should probably go up to the castle anyway. Let's uh, go do that, and we can do the. We can take the ring to the other guy another time, right? It's okay. My pickpocketing still sucks, though. I imagine. Mm. How to make coursework more interesting? What you learn hard said. Well. That's one way to do it. What character are you building him? Satellite. Is he going to be a brute, good or evil? Well, I did shoot a dog. So, uh, people aren't letting me forget about that. So, yeah, I guess that's that defines the character so far. He shot a dog. It's one time. Henry shot a dog. Sure to save before and or pickpocketing. Well, in case I get caught and then look, wrecked. Yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna avoid pickpocketing for a little bit. <laughs> I'm not I'm not super keen on that. Um, on uh, of dying much. <laughs> uh, I'm getting thrown in jail because I'm caught. I might try it on sleeping people, as they said, or drunks. And then maybe try and talk my way out of it if I've got like a good speech level or something. Hello, sir. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? I may not look the part, 
but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. I don't think he's going to be pleased when I tell him that uh, I lost his sword. Look at this castle. How does life in Ratai suit you? It would be fine if we didn't have to sleep in hovels and beg for arms. And the bailiff is always on our backs, the bastard. But what can we do? We've got nowhere else to go. Did you find out what actually happened? What do I know? The lords are at each other's throats, but it's us that has to suffer for it. Same as always. I reckon they was after the silver mines, wasn't they? Perhaps. I need to find the apothecary and pay off my debt. And then, yeah, you guys are saying, don't leave it too long to go to the uh, uh, the other miller in Olnitz, because otherwise <clears throat> he'll, uh, he may not be interested anymore for you, sir. So many people died and this bastard has to survive. Oi. I see you survived. Aren't you observant? You still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father. And he's dead. So get out of here. You can't avoid this forever, you know. Of course I can. It's you who can't piss me off forever. You want another beating? No, I don't. So, what about the debt then? Fine, I owe you. And what am I supposed to do about it? Do you think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got. But maybe I could... Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. Oh, if you good. forgive my debt, that is. All right, then. Start talking. No. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. Very well, then. Talk. When we were running from Scalets, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. Either way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dove cut. Under a dove coat. And that's it? That's all I know. How many dove cots could there be in Scarlet's? If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find it. Fine. We'll see. If not, I might come back and kill him anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More quests gained. Oh, what a lovely square you are. Where is the apothecary? Raider. Hey, do I have anything to sell? To Hello. Let's talk trade. What do I have? Mm -mm -mm. Don't sell me ancient maps. Wearing all that. Weapons. Food. I have my pretzels. Um. Could sell the maps. 69 gold at the moment, so. Uh, oh, I could sell the... Should I sell the spade or should I keep the spade? Treat him like a dog for lying. Not the dog again, no. Do do I do I need to carry a spade with me? Does, does that sound like something you need to just carry around medieval beh bohemia? Carry a spade. For treasure and stuff. Keep it. Spade is useful. I'll keep it for now then. Hello, townsman. God be with you, good sir. And to you, good sir. I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. 
He could teach you. Ah, mightier than the sword. Does anyone know where the apothecary is, though, so that I can pay off this uh, this debt? I really should pay off that debt, shouldn't I? The miller didn't seem interested about me paying it off. We're all begging the refugees from uh, Scalitz. Butcher. Straight then right. That's the trader. The grocer. Covering as I go. For you over here. Punch your sign, sir. Got the baker's up here. I'll be with you. Yeah, I was kind of hoping you might be next to the church, or say. There is the there be the inn. This one, alehouse maid. Inky, when I'm still in the inn. Damn it! I'm to go visit Lord Divish later. See how they do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. At Townberg. In with the church? Back down the street. Oh, right, okay. Oh, the church down here. And that one as well? Oh, no, that's the keep. Damn it. <laughs> welcome to the... Welcome to Kingdom Come Deliverance, where I run up and down the street for an hour. It's getting him confused. On the left, on the right, on the left, on the right. Oh, I've reached a new level in vitality. Oh, well, at least this running has some perks. Is it here? This it? Yeah, here we go. The apothecary. Lovely. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. I believe I owe you a debt. Heavens, lad! You're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Thank you. Last time I saw you, I thought you were ready for the priest. I'm feeling as good as new. Well, I'm glad to hear it. About that debt. I won't pay anything. It'll take me a while. I, I, I'm going to pay him. Close the door and pay the debt. <laughs> I don't think I'm quite good enough for that yet. Here I'll pay are. him. Thank you. I'm glad to see you're a man of honour. Is there Thank anything you. else I can do for you? Uh, yeah, give me that money back. Uh, training. In alchemy. I don't think I'm going to bother with that yet. I will, I will come back and do some more of this later. But I'm glad we have paid that debt. That owed the apothecary for the treatment he gave me while I was conscious finally paid. Unlike Peshek, the apothecary had no peculiar ideas about how I should repay him. Yeah, because you now got to repay Peshek, but... Uh... Gotta do it, go and take a ring to that guy. Can I get a horse yet or not? Because it would be quicker with a horse. We don't know if I'll have to I'll have to wander the countryside to get to it. Kill him. Yeah, I did see there is a way to get a horse for for free later on, so I didn't know if this was the if this was the bit. If I go to my lord, I'll be oh, that is that it. Okay. Um. I guess we shouldn't keep that guy waiting, so we should go for probably a bit of a wander then. Uh, I've also got a... 
Um, a point to put up in vitality, don't I? Marathon man. Info on that is you run slower, but keep it up for longer. Your sprint speed is 20% slower, but demands 20% less stamina. You can have sprinter. You run faster, but also tire fast. Sprinting is 20% faster, but also 20% more stamina. Thick blooded. You bleed slower. What do we think, chat? Thick blooded, sprinter, or marathon man? So run slower, but for longer, or run faster, but for less time. Um. Or thick blooded. Thank you, Dedex Hound. Thick blooded marathon man, marathon, marathon helps long distance marathon. <laughs> yeah, no, says I tend to get stabbed a lot, so I went with thick blooded. <laughs> Sprinters are getting away from rude bandits. I I think I'm going to go with Marathon Man. That sounds good, seeing as I do do a lot of running. Like, I can still get the other perks, can't I? I just have to get a point to go into them. It's just what we'll get right now. Um, also, uh, yeah, some of you said, do the main quest right now, Lionheart, because then if we if we do... Do we get the horse, like, not too into the spoilers of it, but do we get the horse relatively soon once we follow this, uh, this quest to talk to... Um, the Radzig? Or do we have to go through quite a lot to get the horse? <laughs> yeah, not much the further you think. Okay, well, we'll do a bit of the Awakening quest then, so we can get the horse, and then we can go off and give that ring to the, the chap. To the miller. <laughs> I have done lockpicking, yes. Right, well, let's go to Sir Radzig. Oh, didn't want to put that down. Show that one. Turn off these side quests. Hey, he's over there. Okay, so we've got to go. Yeah, talk to Sir Radzig. You can leave the side quest for the Miller for a bit. Yeah, I ran up and down the street and gained some vitality. It's great. <laughs> Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Bandits attacked me in Scalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and banders did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the Knights Hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzig. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. They don't sound that genuine in uh, wishing me... Well, to find that, uh, find the sword. Darnhart would be a god king. Basically, Carl Franz. Oh, thanks. What would I do if I was in this position? Oh, I've heard stairs are troublesome in this game for your character because they're a bit bugged. There we go. Hello. I'm not going to pickpocket you, guard. In the right place. I think I'm in the right place. I think he's got up higher level.
Oh yeah, it looks like the Great Hall's up there. Oh god, I have trouble with stairs. Uh, Ouch to climb stairs. Hey, what are you playing at here? Nothing. I'm not playing at anything. I'm just desperately trying to work out stairs. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush. But I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Pirkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> Uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, well, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial Crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the King neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. <laughs> Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. 
Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him! Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. <laughs> he isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? Sir, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training. And then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Yay. <laughs> I've got a job. Huzzah. All right. Completed the awakening quest. Train hard, fight easy. I hope we can do this and hopefully not too long until we get our horse. I saw a privy line. I saw a privy earlier. Don't die on it. <laughs> I don't really want to risk stealing the horse. It's like a very fancy horse. I'm guessing that is that Sir Radzig's horse. All right, where have I got to go? People for training? are coming to the castle. Dog boys, subscribe. Thank you very much, dude, with your Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, in like two, three main quests, you get a horse. Okay. Do you think we can risk leaving the uh, side quest that long? I need to head. If I'm if I'm gonna go and grab that side quest anyway, I've got to go out that way of the town. So go for a run. Bad idea to steal horses in a castle. Yeah, I imagine. I, I've got to admit, yes. While the while the cutscenes and talking parts of this game are pretty lengthy, I do feel very much immersed in the world that they've created. It is, a, it is a bit of a wordy game, but it definitely doesn't, um, it, is, it isn't lacking on the uh, setting setting the tone and the story up, is it? Do other quests quickly. Okay, well, we'll try and get this training and stuff done. That means we can get our horse quickly so we can go and do the ring. Hey, you got a job. Sounds like an opportunity to head on down to the tavern and feed that alcohol addiction. <laughs> you can become an alcoholic in the game. Yeah, you can, can't you? That looked right into the camera. Oh, it's because I'm looking just above the camera, actually, to read the Twitch chat. <laughs> 
Last strikes combos except. Oh, this castle looks good. Twitch chat is not on the side. Well, I have two screens, so I have the Twitch chat above um, and half of the screen, and the other bit is taken up by my recording software. Combat Arena. How do, how do I begin? I've got to wait for Sir Bernard, haven't I? Have I run ahead of him? Sir Bernard! Wait like an hour. Oh yeah, I'd have to wait, wouldn't I? Well, I guess if we, if in a way, if I've got to wait, I might as well just run up to that that quest there because it's not going to take long, is it? Sod it. We'll run and give the ring over. He's an old slow bugger. How do you set up Twitch alerts? Um, I use uh, Streamlabs for my alerts and stuff. If you give them a Google, it should have all the info you'll need. How long will I be streaming for? Um, probably till about... Uh, for another hour or so, I reckon. Just look at this landscape, though, eh? What a wondrous place. Clearly God is telling you to be a thief and abandon your honourable path. Game similar to Skyrim, yes. I, I mean, yeah, it's an RPG. This one is more... Uh, is, well, it's obviously a lot more historically based than Skyrim. Well, Skyrim isn't. It's Skyrim is pure fantasy. This one is historically based and tries to be um, historically accurate where possible. Can I, can I, I can I can swim, can't I? Can I swim or will I will I die? Cause uh, I'm in heavy mail. No, I'm fine. Clearly. Sakra, it's hellishly deep here. Can you? I don't know. He just said it's hellishly deep here. Too deep. Can I not cross then? I'll just die. Can I swim? He can't swim, you guys are saying. Okay. <laughs> do it. No, I don't want to do it. <laughs> uh, there must be, a, must be a crossing point, surely, somewhere. Probably further up the river than I get. Maybe actually it's on this side. You're supposed to be on this side of the river anyway. Okay, I've just got to follow the path up. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm Deli Joe with my girlfriend. Um... Basically, when we put that on pause, it was about two years ago, and she was just getting a new job. And we didn't really have time with the amount of hours she was putting into that job, because we were saving up to buy this house, basically. Um, but it is something we want to get back to. Um, she's actually... I've, I've built her her own gaming PC now, so she's got uh, a rather capable PC. Um... We definitely want to get back to doing some content on it. Um, possibly even streaming. So keep your eyes peeled. Something we want to get back to doing. Sometimes there are bandits on the road. Get off the road, Frodo! Actually, I should probably... I don't even have my sword equipped. I should probably make sure I've got... Things like that equipped, right? <laughs> Where's this could go wrong very quickly? It's all the way for now, though. Don't get mugged, yeah. 
Dam and sluice being made up here. Very nice. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's the miller, I think. Hopefully, uh, Sir Bernard or something like that I've got to go back and talk to, train with. Hopefully he'll be back by the time we're done with this. That's the miller. Oh, I can only pickpocket them. I don't want to pickpocket anyone. They suck at it. Close that. Hello. My respects to you. Miller Peshek from Ratoy sent me with this ring for you. A ring? Here it is. A one ring. A useless fucking bauble. You must be Henry, right? Peshek told me about you. What the... Why did you throw it away? Do you know how much trouble I had to get it? Peshek said it was important to you. Like I said, it's a piece of junk. It was just a test to see if you've got the balls to work for the miller. It's a custom of ours, testing fledglings in the trade with a nice little wild goose chase. We need to see if you'll be hobbled by pointless principles, or if you're willing to use your head. Congratulations, you passed the test, and now we'll have a few jobs for you. Oh goody. What am I to do with these things I pilfer? No one will buy stolen goods from me. Buying and selling stolen goods is a crime. But if they're worth something, I can make sure they're... Uh, properly cared for. Not that I'd buy them from you, but I could uh, store them for you. And you'll get some coin for taking care of them before. So if someone loses something and I happen to find it, I can bring it to you to store and I'll get Groshen for it. That's the arrangement. I like how we danced around. Uh... I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. Uh, right. Danced around saying I stole Let's stuff. <laughs> Game saved. Oh, okay. That's useful. I don't really think there's anything I do want to sell at the moment. I can sell that bread, I guess. About it. Oh, I can sell. The, oh, he's offering loads more for that. I might. I think I'll sell the snaps as well. I don't really want nettles, does he? What about some salt? Have some salt. Keep the spade. You guys said the spade was good. Oh, I wouldn't mind buying... Oh, God, those lockpicks are expensive. I was like, oh, I'll buy some of them. I might I might buy one, though. One or two. Oh, I should, yeah, I should go wash myself in a barrel. <laughs> I'll pay 26.6. I got 49.2. Yeah, I'll haggle down the price. I go. Let's talk about the price. Why not? Good. I'm I'm really liking the fact we got some good old eye contact here. Satisfied? That's a poor offer. That's a good offer, sir. Tough luck. Oh, I see. Ugh. <sighs> Way too much. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. Want by two, please. I will sell you this bread. Maps. And the salt. Um, yeah, I'll sell these individual arrows as well. For now. Let's see if I can get away with Let's offering the price. to pay um, 18. Well, 
What do you say to this? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Aye, that would do it. Huzzah! If I fail to haggle, the price goes up. Well, we've done that. So, did he give me more quests while I was here? No, he hasn't done. So, I'm not going to take any more quests from him just yet. See if I can find a barrel and wash myself. There we go. Wash yourself. What has happened to good old bohemian dog killing honor? <laughs> If you don't get any cleaner washing yourself in that, you'll need to go to the bars for getting more clean. They look a bit dirty. Will that make my clothes cleaner if I go to the bars, or do I need to do something like that? Yeah, fast travel back. I do really like this fast travel system. It looks really cool. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, well, I'll go back and talk to him some more when I want to do some more sneaky, sneaky, thievy, thievy stuff. Oh, computer says it wants to do an update. No, not now. Away. Right. There he is. Yeah, it does. You'll clean your clothing for 10 gold. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, look, hello. Hey. Hello. Are you serious? Are you serious? Yes, I am. Oh, I have a skill point as well. Sweet. In lock picking, oh hazard! Eat some at level three. I was going to go for lasting lock picks. I seem to remember because they'll be the more durable and last twice as long. Yeah. Yeah. Classic Windows Ten, as Haxo says. Oh, you're incredibly busy. Let's do something about that. <laughs> How many episodes of the co-op do we have left? Oh, with uh, Donkey, um, one more, one more episode. Captain Bernard. My respects to you. Hello. Basic training, please. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik said. That'll be yes, me. That's me. I am Henry. Let's get to it then. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simple. I know a few things already. Let's see something a bit more advanced. I think we should probably cover the Very basic, well. shouldn't we? Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. So let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly and keep moving. Never I am. stand still when your life depends I on I am, my lord. Right, good. Now try attacking. Oh, I you shall, sir. Put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Stick him with the pointy end. Good. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Ah, that's it. Not bad. Not bad. Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. 
Good. Anyway, quit complaining. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. <laughs> see, I lure you. Out. 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 Captain Bernard, I'm only a boy. No. Captain Bernard, no. Good strike. Ow. Ow. Bernard, no. Ow. Ow. Bernard. Bernard, no. Ow. Ow. Bernard, no. Ow. You're hurting poor Henry. You're a trained knight. Fine enough. You're not a complete dead loss. It'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Thank Let's you. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. My sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Well done. Right, lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Ow. Ow. You level right, in warfare. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. No, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Ow. You level in defense. Too soon again. All right. All right. All right. Right. Yeah. Now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Ow. Good. Uh. Not bad. Ow. All right. I will be the best squire you've ever seen. Ah, uh, that's it. <laughs> good, good. Now let's try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must oh, good. train. Let's go. Let's train. Let's go. Out. You see, we're training here. Well, Henry. Your greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? 
I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Thanks. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. Simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. That the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Hey, Zesty. Ow. Not like that! Ow. No, again! Nice! Dark and weave, boys. Dark and weave. Ow. Ow. No, Sorry. again! Alright. Oh, moved the wrong time. Ow! No, again. Good. Nice. Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Ow! Ow! Didn't see it. <laughs> That one. Uh, that's it. Duck nice. and weave, boys. Duck and weave. All right. Aha. And the last thing for today, a trick. Oh, I love Raise tricks. Raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, that's not it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah. No, that's not it. Yeah. Not bad. Well done. Nope. Well now, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. I shall, sir. Thank you for the soul tutorial. Don't leave yet. Sir Radzig also wanted me to teach you archery. Oh Come good. With me. I shall. From now you can come to the arena anytime and challenge the master to a training duel. Huzzah! Yes, yeah, SD, I'm doing good. How are you doing? You're working on defense. You'll live longer. <laughs> yeah. Always a good one, defense. <laughs> good, good for your life. But if you kill them from afar before they get to you, you won't need defense. That is also true. <laughs> How the hell do you have time to stream and release all those videos? Uh, well, sometimes I don't, which is why I often don't end up streaming that much. Um, Look where you're going. I was. Um, but uh, yeah, I do do enjoy a bit of streaming. Enjoy a strum now and then.
I stream once a month. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully much more regularly, though, at the moment. You're doing like two or three streams a week, so... Keep your eyes and ears peeled. Make sure you hit follow on uh, on Twitch so you get the notification and be subscribed on YouTube so you can see those videos there. And I also post on Twitter and all that too. Hoping to start tweeting out at the start of each week my plans for streaming um, across that week so it'll be a bit easier for you guys to tune in. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there. And we can start. And another thing. Put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring. So be sure to wear it. Thank it's you, boss. Captain. Save the thanks and get in position. I think I've taken a bit of a now, beating to my face. Oh, ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword. People the are coming Emperor to the Charles, castle. God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. Thanks, SD, for subscribing. Here's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. And then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if you were about to draw it back more. Don't. All one movement. At you, sir. Arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow, Where of this, you, you won't need it anymore. Don't. I want to shoot him, please. Oh. oh. You missed, blacksmith, by a mile. Has anyone told you you're supposed to shoot at the target? You don't. Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good, then let's get to it. Uh oh. Archery competition. Got to aim a bit more to the. A bit more to the right. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Rip. Hey, name changer. Congratulations, Sir Hans. Nicely shot. Thank you, Bernard. It seems I get to keep the bow. So, blacksmith, do you know your place now, or do you need more reminding? Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. Oh, sword fighting, is it? 
Oh goody. No, didn't mean to put it put it away. Blacksmith, you still have a lot to learn. I suppose I should give you credit for taking on my challenge, despite your limitations. Thank you, sir. And since we made an honest bet, you can give me my money now. Oh, it's only two groschen. There's nothing. There's nothing. You're swinging at ten percent. So yeah, I need to get more. Wait for more stamina to build up. Yeah, I probably should just put the shield away. But yeah. Right. What's what's my quest? Oh, I've got to speak to him. Oh, Sir Bernard. Or oh, Captain Bernard. Captain Bernard. Don't fret about it, lad. Lord Capon is a good swordsman, and if by some fluke you actually won, well, you might not take it so well. Now go to the Rathaus. House. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. I can hear my cat doing things somewhere. <laughs> right, are there are there bathhouses here? I kind of feel like I need a bit of a wash. Bring him a shrubbery. <laughs> need a bath. West Tipster. Archery range. Are there any baths? Near the mill? Is neighbouring the mill you're staying at? Oh, what, over here? Anna? Or, like, just one of these bits here? Let's fast travel to the mill. Go for a bath. What am I planning on doing my next stream? Um... Probably, after this, it will probably be Sunday. Uh, unless I get a chance to Friday, but the uh, the new Solaris um, bit comes out. Oh, down there. I see. For the bards. But yeah, the new Solaris uh, expansion comes out and an update, and I want to take a look at that on Friday.
Do, 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 do. Can I try and uh, try and not stream when the rugby's on? <laughs> I'm only about um, Sunday morning. That's probably when I'll stream. The baths. One bath, please. Uh, they all, they're all sleeping. Oh, here, they are. here are the baths. Oh, I'm in a private area. What? Show yourself. Sorry. I'd, I'd like a bath, please. Oh, it might be too late in the day. Other baths. I'll come. I'll come back in the morning for a bath. I'm sorry. I'll just wash myself here. Probably go to sleep for the day. I've been a busy, busy Henry. Training and giving pointless rings to people. It's very, also very dark and I bet you guys can barely see anything on your screens. Rugby starts at 2. Oh cool, I think I, I can probably stream from like 10 till 2. That should be pretty good then. an honest trade. How come you got mixed up in crime? Evil times. The harvest failed, and there was no grain to mill, and a child to feed on top of it all. I had no choice. And meanwhile, the lords in the castle and the monks in the monastery stuffed their craws to bursting. Where's the justice in that? So you took justice into your own hands, is that it? And now you take whatever you need? Pull your head out your ass, Henry, and take a good look around you. Wars come and go, but nothing really changes. It's the poor that do the dying, and the nobles who reap the rewards. We have to survive somehow, so why concern ourselves with morals? Fair enough. Off to my bed to sleep. Oh, I should probably eat as well, shouldn't I? Before I go to bed. We got. Oh, I got a pretzel. Red mushrooms and some dried fruit. Um, more fruit. And one more pretzel before bed. Who doesn't like a pretzel before bed? <clears throat> sleepy, sleepy time. Oh, yeah, I should have eaten from the pot, shouldn't I? I eat from the pot when I wake up. There's some food in there.
Oh, Teresa. Oh, no. Why is Teresa not in her bed? Why am I sleeping next to the miller? Uh -huh. Come on, mate. I mean, Teresa's gone to sleep upstairs. Oh, yeah, she's gone to sleep upstairs. They swap beds. Fine. Time to go to the baths. Hey, Dizzy Lad. Welcome to the channel. Seeing with his eyes... <laughs> with his, uh, with his eyes open. There's a, the Gandalf trait. I would like a bath this morning, please. I may have to wait, I guess, because it seems like it's a bit early. Nobody in medieval Bohemia clearly gets up that early. She slept on this because she smells so bad. <laughs> Yeah, I can understand that. It's not come up saying it's a... Oh, now it's in a private area. I guess I'll wait. Till what? Two hours? What is it with all of you saying kill the chickens? <laughs> the bath wenches will be outside when it's open. Ah, yes. Ah, oh, there we go. Bath made. Oh, the proprietor. I would like a bath, please. I'm interested in your uh, services. So what are you interested in? A bath. A bath, launder my clothes and heal my wounds. I don't have any of that. To pay for a wench and everything that goes with that. <laughs> uh, to have a bath and launder my garments, please. Get myself fixed up a bit. Have a bath and get my clothes washed. But of course. Money first, though. Ten? Oh, I'm going to have to waggle for that, I'm, I'm afraid. I'm not giving you that much. And how much are you willing to pay? Eight point mm, eight point five seems a bit low, doesn't it? But let's try it. Since it's you, you're a right pinch purse. At nine. Oh, clearly not. I'd like to make use of the <laughs> bathhouse's services. And Service what is it, it you'd like? Proper bath. Proper bath. And my clothes need washing. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. Do I play any empire? What empire total war? Um, I haven't played... I'm not giving you that much. Um, any empire and recently. how much are you willing to pay? Uh, let's start at nine. What about this? That's not enough. So 9.5 is as low as you go. Fine. You won't regret spending the money. I guarantee it. Bathing time. I'm assuming I'm nice and clean now. It's a bit tattered, isn't it? My outer garment. Um, oh, my stats can be leveled up. Oh, my main level. We got scout and first aid. Uh, you lost fifty percent longer without food, but as soon as you get hungry, effects will be changed. Manly odor. Night rider. Thermal will generate twenty percent faster at night, but ten percent slower during the day. Squeaky clean, Henry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm planning on doing um, 
a new Empire Total War Let's Play at some point this year. I want to do a USA Darth mod uh, campaign. Renegade brand. Penalties on stats following release from jail 20% lower. Wanderer, you grew up in poorest conditions, so comfort of beds is inverted for you. Uh, I don't really think, yeah, any of them are ones I really want to spend just yet, so I might just wait till a higher level and then I can get a couple of the, the next ones. Or first aid level 2. These are level 6 ones. Savage. In the wilds, you have a plus one bonus on strength, agility, vital vitality, and speech. Whereas that's in towns and villages, move us into you have. Oh, okay. So I want to be a uh, town or wild. Yeah, I think I'll save up. Hey, party elite. How you doing, dude? Yeah, I'm going to save my point. How much gold do I have? Um, not much. Of eighteen point seven. I probably should really get around to um more quests, shouldn't I? I've got to go to the bailiff now, so off we go. At least I smell nice and fresh for a day with the bailiff. Ah! That's why you guys said to punch the chicken. They're not technically stealing chickens. I hear you shot a dog. Why? Why is that the first thing? Oh dear. I was here for a while. We can check because the email wasn't very right. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I shot a dog that was supposedly guarding its master. Um. Look at that. Look at that mighty part. I never one one hit punched a chicken and instantly knocked all of its feathers off. That is that is a quick way to pluck. Chicken. You reckon they're going to notice that all their chickens are disappearing? Getting reputation. <laughs> Don't worry, this isn't foul play. Ah, 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 ah. Can I, can I then sell these? A dead hen. She didn't quite know what hit her. Oh no, that's terrible. <laughs> I'm assuming if I eat that, I will not be... I'll get, like, food poisoning, so I need to cook it, right? I shot the dog who guards his master's body. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, I... I, Because I, I was like, well, I was lured in by the sound of good loot, and I thought that the dog would attack me if I tried stealing his master's loot. The one-punch plucker. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Yeah, I need to cook it first. Okay. I assume, can I drop it into the pot at the miller's uh, house? When I was getting the shovel, yeah. KFC could have used those chickens. Yeah, it could have done, actually. Actually, I had a KFC last night because my uh, my local KFC was one of the few places that actually had chicken. <laughs> yeah, he did have some nice gold. So that's why I thought I'd uh, I'd loot him. But I, I wasn't sure of his dog, so I preemptively killed the dog. Um, and, uh, yeah... Well, that's a thought. Pot stew chicken. The great KFC <laughs> shortage. Yeah. Raw food goes off really quickly. My chicken. My chicken. Hey, Zentox. Go have Nando. Ah, oh, I want Nando. Why did you have to say Nando? And I want Nando's. Chicken for me tonight. It's at 2:44 a.m. right now. I'm uh, I'm cooking up a, a beef a beef curry tonight. Looking forward to making that. Where be the bailiff? He's in here somewhere. In the armory. Armorer. Is he down here? Hey, Lef. Oh, private area. Run away! I didn't mean to. I was going to fix up some salmon, but now I want some chicken. 
Oh, don't wanna don't wanna lockpick. No, I'm guessing I'm not meant to be here. Yeah, and no, I'm gonna have to have a Nando's. Damn it, see it's like someone just mentions it and it just It just goes around, doesn't it? Has to be done. Bailiff in there? I'm not much I'm not much of a of a fishy chap, really. Never really like I have a bit of fish and chips, you know, cod and chips, but that's about it. Not one for uh, a tuna or salmon, really. Bailiff's in here. Bailiff, there we go. Excuse me, Bailiff. Are you serious? Bailiff. No. My respects to you. Is something going on here? Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Grace. I'm to put myself under the Bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have, and I have the bruises to prove it. The captain doesn't hold back. The harder the training, the easier the battle. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Okie dokie. I got 15 groschen. Go oh, to the armory. Pick up your kit at the armory. What do you need? Um. What? That's expensive. I'm assuming this isn't the kit. Oh, yeah, my gloves. Not my gloves. Thirty-eight to repair them. Bloody heck. No, thank you. For the shop guard. He said armory, not armor. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Sorry. Can I steal all this stuff? <gasps> I could! So if I was able to get in here, I'd be able to steal it. Ooh. Why is everyone looking at me? Private area. Run away. Okay, to the armory! I'm going to trade my chickens to this... This fine woman. Oh, they're not worth much. Okay, I need to cook them then. And also, I need to see where the armory is. Pick up your kit at the armory. Oh, that's where it is. Okie dokie. Is there a campfire down at the, the camp here? Hunter's gloves will be cheap and easy to find later in the game. Okie dokie. I get ya. Is there a little... There we go. Can I... 
Oh, I could drop my chicken into the pot, but can I? Oh, cook item. I want to cook my. I want to cook my chicken. Ah, cooked chicken. Cook all the chicken. Oh, is all the stuff locked in chests at night? Oh, the guards watch the doors. I've cooked all the chicken. See if that'll sell for more now. I'd hope so, wouldn't you? Yeah, they're worth one gold now, but it's whether or not what the traders' prices for them will be. Trade. Trade, please. Sell my cooked chicken. Ah, That's not much at all. My pretzels are pretty low in quality. Should I, should I sell them or should I keep them? Get a little bit. But chickens I just went around punching. We'll have to sell the pretzels. I think I need to buy more food at some point, but it would be expensive. Ooh, a sweet pancake. Oh, uh, basket, please. Uh, I'm going to haggle, though. Haggle for a bit more, my can lord. Do something about the price? Yes, please. Well, we can try it. We can try it, can we? I would quite like to... Get two, please. What do you say to this? Those chickens were close. freshly plucked. Drop the price a bit more and we'll shake on it. Chicken peddler for the win. Alright, 1.9. I'll go for that. I'm a chicken peddler. Does the cop have any more itchy in it? Also, part 25 of the series you mentioned doing music video. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll get a chance to uh, elephant hat, but you never know. You never know, because I know you've done a pretty... Fantastic job on uh, those itchy songs. But no, the fi final episode does not have any itchy in it, I'm afraid. Well, he, he might make an appearance just to say thanks for watching. Carry dry mushrooms and mainly eat from the fruit pot, food pots, yeah. To be fair, if I remember to just eat from the pot, then we should be fine. Hey, Bulky. How you doing? Read through your nose, Henry. Huh? Arr? Oh. The armory at the back here. Aha! I was told to pick up a kit here. I'd say there's not much room for improvement. You already look as good as any vassal, but your wish is my command. Thank you. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? Yes, please. I need equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. I guess that means I can sell my other stuff, though, right? A bludgeon. I'd rather keep my sword out, I think. Or do I need to specifically equip the bludgeon? I 
find some treasure. Um, I've got the map, so I'll probably do a treasure hunting one at some point. Yeah, I'll go sell one. What was the other bit he gave me? I thought he said I got... Was it Gabeson? Gabeson. My current one's pretty battered. Keep a sword. Okay, cool. Oh, I got another Gabeson. Oh, it says that it doesn't say I've got multiple quantities. Yeah, and they don't stack either, sadly. Join him for patrol down there. Right, well, I'll go sell my stuff. Oh, I got the padded armor, was it? Oh, yeah, because it's 100%. There we go. Thank you. Much better. Right, we'll go sell everything else. Thank you. You've got 67 hours in the game already and 34k money. Nice. It's weaker. Yeah. The item info. Oh, rip. Two, three, five. Yeah, it is weaker. Right, but it is pretty poor condition. Unless I can repair it. Do you reckon worth trying to get it repaired or stick with the new one? I'll go to the armorer to sell some stuff. I can ask him about repair training, can't I? See how much it's going to cost to repair this other one because the gloves are expensive alone. No! Ooh. Ooh, I was about to steal that by mistake. Good thing it's a hold down one. Um Can you show me how to repair armor and weapons better? Certainly. Thank you. Should I do this or another time? What do you reckon? Or should we just pay him to repair my armor? Ba, 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 ba. Oh, this is just... Oh, it's not actually a lesson. Oh. Just pay to level up the skill. Well, I'll I think see. it over. We see. So, if anything, I should talk about... As, how much does it cost? Oh, he can't actually repair. Oh, because I have to go to the leather maker, wouldn't I? This is not the right place for it. But I will sell my... Uh, go to, yeah, to the tanner or something like that, probably, for, for this, surely. Book trade. Sell this one because I'm not wearing it anymore. That's quite a nice payday. Sell that padded cough. Using. Um... Obviously, we're going to try and haggle that. Let's have a word about the price. Why not? Taylor's going to be where I'm going. Yeah, that's the one. What about this? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Ah, almost. Counter offer of 44 is where I'm going, mate. Aye, that would do it. Good. Yeah, I need to go to the tailor. Right, well, at least I've gained a bit of money. Where Where was the tailor here? Tailor, tailor. There we go. Oh, he's, oh yes, he's through here. I know where he is. He's this way. Oh, God, so I'm assuming I talk to you. 
do. Oh, I didn't offer any. You don't offer anything. I need repairs. Maybe not. Oh, ah. Hey, watch it. There's the tailor. Folk these days. Folk these days. That's Mr. Folk to you. Good health. Wait for the guy in the sexy tight trousers. There we go. Um, so about repairs. Oh, that's only going to cost 0.2. Nice. I'm. I'm not even going to haggle. I'm going to close the deal. Then I can just put that one back on. Boom. So I could sell that now, couldn't I? Like padded, uh, like padded armor. And the feather hat. <laughs> nine point nine. Haggle that a bit. Let's talk about the price. Naturally. I would like 10.5. What do you say to this? A nice sum. Just lower your demands a little and we'll agree. Hey, Major Badmington. Oh, temp no, 10.3 is where I go, sir. I, for that amount, I can be persuaded. Good. Right, now we need to go on patrol. Yeah, you guys saying it's part of a... I should keep the Warhorse uh, Gaberson because it's part of a set. Cool thing. Yeah, I think it's a pre-order bonus. Hello, Poppet. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? You're too early. We'll meet in the afternoon down by the church. All right. Oh, is it still early morning? I have no concept of the time, I'm afraid. Oh, it's nearly there. It's nearly time, sir. Oh, and I should go to the armourer next time because he'll sell it for a better price. Between 11 and 9. 11 and 9, sorry. 11 and 7. <laughs> Just gone 11, sir. Should be ready. I see you're kitted out. There we go. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um... I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So, how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I started courtship. <laughs> I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Sir Radzig must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. Okie dokie, boss. Time for patrol. This I would really like church, St. Matthews. Really like your armor though. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lipa, our masters. 
The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He yeah. lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. His I've totally visited was brand him. new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. How am I getting on with the watch? Pity there's still no TV. Uh, what watch? What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. If you won't go to the church, go back to your people. I don't... What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. What's the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in a square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armourer? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any alms or not? Yes. From the Armourer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's true. What would you know about it? Try and do it with speech. Give Jane arms, armor, or a groschen to the beggar. What do we reckon, guys? One, two, or three? The witch! Uh, yeah, the Apple Watch. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Working quite nicely. What a hat. That is a very fine hat, though, from the armor there. That is, that is top. Top hat. Hmm. One, 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 one. Two for three, one. One, three, one, one. People are coming to the castle. Thank you, Moose, just subscribed. Two months in a row. Thank you very much, Moosey. I want to annoy the armorer. This is true. Yeah, I think I'm going to give her a groschen. I'll, uh, I'll do it myself today. Here, Jane. Take this and be on your way. Yes. Yes, thank you. I'll go right away. Right away. God Don't know the guy you're you, going to buy off. Yeah, that's true. And what happens if she comes again tomorrow? You give her more? You're making a mistake. Give them coin once and you'll never see the back of them. If you say so. Solved it. Did I do good, Mr. Nightingale? Oh, Lord Almighty! I just gave you a groschen. Take it, Jane. Your old neighbours are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Zahanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Zahanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Zahans Capon. Zahans's father, old Sayeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. 
So Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. Thank you, boss. Am I bad as yet? Uh, n no, not quite. I punched some chickens, though. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. I would say good name. Lovely. You're off the funkin' chain. <laughs> Has the dog kill it? No. No. That was a mistake. Spam lock picking with the miller. Yeah, but I ran out of lock picks. I bought a few more though. We're planning on being the baker's shop here. good or a thief type. Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. <laughs> be fair, I wouldn't mind uh, thieving a few bits and pieces here and there as There's we go. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Okie dokie, boss. May have been a mistake, but it's part of your character now. Yeah, Henry the dog killer. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Okie dokie. Henry the hound hunter. <laughs> yeah. One dog, damn it. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right. I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. You don't keep... Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. They... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. Thanks, chap. How much longer will I be streaming for? Probably once we finish this patrol, I'm gonna gonna wrap things up for the evening. But as I said, I'm gonna do more Kingdom Come Deliverance streaming on Sunday. Be an earlier one though, probably starting at about ten o'clock uh, till about two in the afternoon. The Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sassau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed, Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. 
This tower yep. was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Sleepy Lionheart. This walking should level up your vitality like when you ran up and down the street. Oh, cool. Hey, Henry's come to see us. Hello. It's I, Henry. I was enjoying that music. God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I, I see. I'm from now, where I... might he have got to, well, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? Uh, uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. I assume this is he. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Huh? Move your carcass and don't guard the gate. I... Uh... Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Or oh, God forbid, Captain Bernard. Hi out! I've just begun it. I lost everything like Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. That sounds good. Hey, watch it. I'll remember you. That fool got me all worked up. Me as well, the lazy bastard. My words exactly, and just when we need every pair of eyes. You never know when the Cumans might creep up on us. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Why not? What are we playing? Game of Farkle. Goal of this two player game is to be the first to reach a certain number of points. Six dice are thrown and the players alternate turns. Points are gained for every one or five thrown and for three or more of a kind of any other number. Scoring is as follows. One is worth 100 points, five is worth 50. Three of a kind is worth 100 points multiplied by the number given. Four or more of, of a kind is worth double. Points of three of a kind. Okay. Target number of points you have to get. Points you've gained so far. Subtotal for the round. Okay. Give it a go. Bit of dice. Um, do I want to hold on to the... S oh, do I get to... Playing all six dice, playing and then get select set aside scoring die, and at least one die must always be set aside. So the player can throw the remaining dice again. Okay, the key element of the game is that if the player does not produce a single scoring die, the player's turn is over and all the points at that point during the player's turn are lost. It is then the opposing player's turn throw, therefore it's advisable to end your turn using Q, therefore there's a significant increase the chance that not a single die will score. Also often worth setting aside all scoring dice so that you will have a better chance of scoring higher on the next throw. Okay.
Should I? Shouldn't I? Ah, I see. We spent a long time at this tavern. That was one long game. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still is a bit it? early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet's, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. Thanks for the torch. Jesus, look where you're going. Ring the bell. Keeping the peace. I'm off to go ring the bell. Hey! Where's the underground nightclub? <laughs> Evening, Guardsman. And off to the mill to sleep, ago. yep. Sorry. That's you the plan. With a for years. Keep running and build vitality. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when you, you save when you uh, go to sleep in your bed. And other people have torches. No lighty, no light. Lifey. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Off to ring the bell. Sleepy time, everybody. Ting ting. Close the trader's tavern by the market square. Okay, thank you, boss. Rest them all for not having a torch. Good day, Henry. Good day. She sent me packing right away. After all, she's got her girl to think of too. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good canon on his pig. <laughs> I didn't get to find him. <laughs> We tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsia on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pig sty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God save their bacon. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Rate. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What is he? 
Hiding under the table, maybe. <laughs> no! Then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough! You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fisty cuffs. Yay. <laughs> right. Give it up already. name of Christ is happening here. Well, answer me, damn you. This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me to... Silence! Take... You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans. How many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Well, him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight! Sir, I have responsibilities of the bailiff. Not I anymore! Can't... Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. Right, well, that was my only day as uh, the as the bailiff's guardsman. Then <laughs> that went well. The prey. At dawn in the upper courtyard of the castle. I need to go sleep. I need to save. What time is it currently? Can I go? I can go back to my bed, sleep for a bit, and then come back up, right? That'll be fine. I've also got court I've got to go see Teresa. Before noon. I'm from Town Guard, personal, assist uh, personal Assistant, Guard of the Lord. Yeah. It is sleepy o'clock, so back to the mill then, I guess. Off I run. Yes, I have trained with Captain Bernard. Night chaps. You must be up to no good snooping around in the dark. No, I haven't uh, done a uh, second.
training with uh, Captain Bernard yet. Soon, though. Soon. I need to keep a better eye on my stamina. From dog murderer to personal guard, yeah. That's the that's the progression for Henry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard the uh, the combos are rather useful. Forgive, but never forget. <laughs> That's the Tanner. Realize I should have just fast traveled here, shouldn't I? I'm assuming we should wait to talk to Teresa until. Uh, until next, we meet. I'll talk to her before noon. So, uh, we'll just talk to her in the morning before we head out. What time is dawn? Do, uh, if I sleep six hours... Yeah, but energy is actually good after a few, after just a few. A relaxing evening stroll, sod the fast travel. Freeze it after sleeping, and then save again. We'll do that at the start of the of the next stream, guys. Bring jewelry. Um, we'll go. For, we'll sleep for for five hours. Oh no, we'll sleep. We'll sleep. We'll sleep till four. He sleeps till nine or something. I'll have to come back and do that another time then, won't I? Because I've got to do the... I've got to meet the Lord at dawn. Well, for now we'll just sleep... Actually, for now we'll just sleep an hour. Just so that we can save. And we'll pick this up at the start of the next stream. Going for a little power nap now. I was waiting over a bed for ready ages when I was seeing this. Not creepy at all. <laughs> Game saved. Right, well, thanks for tuning... Oh, there she is. Hello. Hi, right, Teresa. Well, that's where I'm going to wrap the stream up for now, guys. So thanks for tuning in. If you've been watching uh, on YouTube, then I hope you've enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, I'll be streaming more again um, soon. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled on my social media. Till the next one. Ciao for now.